Well, hello everyone, this is Mark from Groupable here with a rough cut video of some of the upcoming changes that are going to be going live in Groupable M2. Uh, pretty quickly, we think we're going to have these out of the week of August 24th in uh, 2020. So I just wanted to go through some of these changes. Most of these are focused on the secretaries here and mostly around the setting up of your dues and the dues process. I'm gonna do two things here. I'm gonna run through a quick setup of dues as if I'm starting with a new lodge and then I'm gonna run through and if you already have your dues set up and you're just getting ready to build a new year for 2021, how you go about doing that. So we're gonna address both, of, both audiences here with this one uh, run through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And you'll see now there's a little bit of a difference here on the financial menu. We have the income and expenses, undeposited funds, and the dues and arrears, which are the same as these three tabs on what we've been calling the Lodge dashboard. And I'm going to go here to the dues and arrears because this is where most of the action is happening with the system now. It's very similar to what you had before. You've got your dues and arrears panel, your age receivables, some stats about your dues here on the right hand side, and your member types. Now I'm going to go through and basically go through the whole setup process for a lodge here. I've got a lodge here. We've only got eight members, nice and small, so we can set it up really quick. So the first thing you need to do when you're going to be uh, setting up your dues is you need some member types. We've got to know what we're going to build the folks. So we've got your member types here. You can go ahead and hit the plus sign, give it a member type. We're just going to say regular members, and we're going to say that they uh, owe $100 a year. So now I've got that member type, but I don't have anybody assigned to it. So now I've got that member type. And we'll also say that maybe we have a uh, honorarium for the secretary of the lodge. He doesn't pay anything. And maybe that we also have a hardship type. And that they also pay zero. And let's say maybe you have like a life member and they pay partial dues. Or maybe it's like, uh, let's say like a 50 year member and they pay, let's say half dues. So now I've got my member type set up. At any time you can click the button here, the pencil, and you can edit any of these. You are not changing the amount that is currently owed for the member. This is just changing what would get billed in the future. You can also delete a type if there is no one on that type. So that 50 year member type just went away, but I can create it really easy. We're just gonna do that again. And now I've got my member type set up. So now the first thing you wanna do if you're coming into the system for the very first time and you're just getting ready to bill the next year's dues, you'll see here on the menu here for the dues and arrears, the first thing we've got on the menu is called import dues. So I'm gonna go there. And this gives you the current year, which is 2020 right now, 2019, 2018, 2017. We give you a four year spread here so that you can put in what anybody owes. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run through and I'm gonna set the member types. And uh, Charles happens to be the secretary, so he's an honorarium. And we're just gonna make this guy a regular member. We're gonna make this guy a regular member. We're gonna make this guy a regular member, a regular member, and then we'll say, that the last two, we've got one that is a 50 year and one that's on a hardship. And you see as the green flashes in the background, those member types have now been set on those member records. And if you are importing and getting started right before you're gonna be sending out the next year's dues, you really shouldn't have a whole lot that the members owe. So I'm just gonna say this right here, right now. If you're coming through this and you're filling in a value for every member, and it's the end of the year, stop, give us a call because you're probably doing it wrong. Because I'm not setting up 2021, I'm not setting up the next year, I'm setting up for what people owe me and hopefully you've been collecting dues all year and you've got that money already collected from most of the members. So I'm just gonna pretend here I've got eight members. We're gonna pretend that two of them still owe me some money. We'll say that uh, Hazleton, that he still owes me for 2020 and he owes me for 2019. Now this screen here, I'm using my arrow keys and I'm just running around here and I can just run around and edit the values that are in these cells. And we'll say that uh, Mac here, that he still owes me for 2020. So at that point, I've set up my historical dues for what people owe me at this point. So I'm just gonna scroll up here. I'm gonna go back to my dues and arrears. 
you'll see those three entries here for William Hazleton, the two one, the two rows, one for 2019, one for 2020. We've got Carl Mack, just the one row for 2020. If I look down on my age receivables, I'll see who owes me. And also I've got my member types here and I can see I've got five regular, one honorarium, one hardship and one 50 year. I can drill on on any one of those and see the list of members here. If I want to change a type here, I can. I can change this say to hardship, but I'm just going to change that back to regular there. And I can go back to my dues and arrears. So that's how you kind of get your quote old data into the system. And generally most people are doing it just before they're ready to bill the next year. So hopefully you don't have a whole lot of data entry to do other than setting the member types. So now at this point, I'm ready to set up another year. And if you've already been using the Mori Classic system, this is where your process for the next year starts, right here. So in here, I've got my whole uh, list for the member for the dues here. First thing I want to do is I want to configure my dues notice. I want to put in here that we're going to, it dues are uh, due on 12 31 2020. Make the check payable. I've got that there. The Silver Lodge, 216, 123 Main Street. You want to fill this in with the address for your lodge. You can also solicit for some donations to the lodge. So I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to see here. I'm going to do a, uh, let's say the new roof fund because we need a new uh, roof at the lodge. I'm going to put that into my donations income category and we're going to do a suggested donation there of $50 and I'm going to check the box so this will show up on my print dues notices. Go ahead and create that. That's there. Again, you can edit it. I could change something here. Just click the update button and it's updated. And if I want to get rid of it, all I have to do is click the, the trash can there and get rid of it. I'll go ahead and put that back in. And we'll put that under donations, suggested $50. We'll have it show up on the print dues and going to go ahead and create that. We also show you the member types here. We also show you the member types here. And we've got uh, the same thing here. This is like what's in the lower right hand corner of the dues and arrears screen. But we want to repeat it here to see that it's something that you do need to set up to do your dues. So I'm going to go back to dues and arrears here and I'm going to set up. I'm going to add a dues year. So I'm going to go ahead here. First thing we do is we show you what we're going to bill the people. 50 year guys are going to pay $50. Hardship, honorarium, pay nothing. Regular members are going to get billed $100. Go ahead, click the button, select the dues year. It's already on 2021. I go ahead and click set up. Now all the members have had the receivables entries added for the 2021 dues year now. I see you got 2021, 2020, 2019, 2021, so on and so forth through here. And now you notice that the import dues is going away because I've set up a dues here in here, but I have basically access to that functionality. If I need to go in, I need to do some bulk changes. I can quickly go in here and I can set that up really easy, change a member type. This basically gives you everyone in your lodge, it's kind of like a spreadsheet. Just run around it with the arrow keys and go through and do all that stuff and go back to dues and arrears because now I want to mail them out. So I go to print my dues notices. This is similar to how we set up the stuff for the uh, on the configure dues screen. This is all that same information, but we just reiterated it here. I'm just going to change this to uh, 2020. Go ahead and say save there. I'm going to, this gives you a preview of the dues notice. I'm going to go ahead and say next. I want them, all the members who owe dues, or I can send it to all members so that I can solicit for those donations to the lodge. I can sort by name or postal code. If you're a really big lodge, and let's say you're doing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dues notices, you might have a bulk uh, uh, mailing permit. You can do, sort it by zip code to make that nice and easy. You can do it with the, uh, one per page with the dues notice on the top of the page and the second page is a contact form or you can put it at the bottom again with that contact form or you can do three to a page. You can also include a custom message to your members here and that will be on the dues notice. I'm going to do the one to per, per page so you can see that. Go ahead and click print. This is going to generate the dues notices and it's going to pop them up in your PDF viewer. 
So here's the notice here. I'll just make this a full page here, single page. You see that's on the top, there's my custom message. And the next page down, these are the uh, contact forms so the member could fill it in and update you with their new contact information. And we're going to go back here to, uh, to here. Basically, that's all the information I wanted to show you about generating the dues notices. Just in case anybody didn't see it, I'm going to add a little coda here with some stuff that's been done recently. I'm going to show you the member payment screen. So let's say that uh, you're ready to take some payments in. Just select the person's name. It's going to bring them up. This is their payment history, and it gives you the ability to both edit what they owe, add a new year of dues if you need to do something like that, or also take the payment. So right here, I've got what they owe. You see the pencil? If you see a pencil, that means you can edit it. I can click the pencil here. I could change this to say $120, $10. I did it wrong. So we'll change that. I'm going to put it back to $100 just like everybody else. You could delete it. I can get rid of it. I can put it back in. $20, $21, And right here with the plus sign on the payment history, I can actually put in the payment. Today's date, I'm going to put in $100. It is a check and it's for the dues hit enter and now you see that his amount outstanding has gone away and you've got the payment there and it hasn't been transferred hasn't been deposited but that's that's basically taking the payments also on the lodge screen I don't know if anybody's noticed this but we've, we're pulling in the calendar events that are public not private calendar events just the public ones from your calendar in the our lodge page system we also have a link here so you can go and edit your in your calendar manage your our lodge page site right there so you can go and do that that's pretty much my video here for today of the stuff that we've got coming down the pipe and you should probably see like i say you should see this the week of uh august 24th in 2020